Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a uh, cloth with a wind effect. It'll be animated and it looks pretty cool, and it's a fun thing to do. It's really easy. So before I get started, please comment and rate this video. Check out my page. Check out my other tutorials and subscribe if you like my stuff. Okay, so let's get started. So I've already made a normal simple cloth tutorial on how to set it up. So if you don't know how to make cloth and you know uh, weight paint with it. I suggest checking that out. If you already do, then it's no problem. So first thing you want to do is you want to delete the cube, press space, add mesh plane. Now press R to rotate Y on the Y axis 90. And now you want to go into edit mode, or you can just go there really quick by pressing tab. And you want to press the subdivide button uh, about that many times. So that, that looks pretty good. So now that we have all the subdivisions, we're going to weight paint. So just get the top part here. And you you know, want to make sure that there's no green parts at the very top. Okay. So now that we have that, let's set up the cloth. Go to right here, to object tab, go here to physics tab, and press cloth. Let's turn it to silk since that's a pretty smooth material type. It works for me. Now press pitting of the cloth, and if you see my other tutorial, you'll know that by pressing that, it uh, makes the red parts of the weight paint cling there, and all the other parts are loose. Now if we press off A, there's very, very little activity, like barely noticeable. So let's add some uh, wind to it. So press space, add mesh plane, again, RY90, again, let's bring it on the X axis. Scale it down and bring it down on the Z axis uh, a little higher. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, instead of pressing any of the buttons right here like cloth, let's go to fields and you'll see a bunch of stuff, but we're just going to press wind for now. That's pretty good. Now that we have the wind settings and we press Alt A, not, still nothing's going to happen, and that's because we don't have any strength to it. So let's turn it up to about 9, see what that does, and as you see these little rings pop out, and that's pretty much the distance of how, and, uh, how much it pushes, and then afterwards it just stays. So press Alt A right now, you can see the wind taking effect, and that's pretty good. I think we should turn it up to about, probably double, so we can see a cooler effect. You know. That looks pretty good. I mean, you can use that effect for uh, curtains over a window on a windy day, a wind sound effect, and that'll look pretty cool. Let's press set smooth on this one right here. Now, you can animate how strong the force is by adding um, pretty much like uh, keys like you normally would. Let's go to 9 for frame 1. Press I down here. If you're up here, it just inserts normal keyframes, but we're going to insert a keyframe down here. So press I, and you see all this different stuff, and you want to press force strength. Now you see how this turned golden, and that's because we inserted a keyframe, but for the strength. So let's go up to 50. And let's turn this up to 18. I, force strength. And you can go up and down by pressing the up and down arrow, and that skips it up to 10. For frames and left and right is only one so let's go back to, let's go up to 100 now and let's turn the strength to 10 I for strength go up to 150 um, well, let's try 14 and then on frame 200 let's go to just strength one now noise It'll give it kind of a grainier, probably a little more realistic one since wind isn't just perfect. So let's turn the noise to about uh, one. Let's just do one. So let's try it out. Let's press Alt A. And if you look closely, you can see the rings moving. And I'm just going to let it play. Now, in Blender, if you play an uh, animation at first, then it has to bake and that's what this is doing, that's why it's going slow and glitchy but once I play it a second time 
Blender will be used to the settings and it should play pretty smooth. But this is a really cool effect and then afterwards if you want really smooth nice curtains you can add a subsurf modifier to it and that will just make it look really nice with barely any seams and it's pretty cool. Okay, it's almost done. Now I'll just let it go a little further. Now the rings have stopped animating, and it's on frame. It's almost on frame 250, so it'll almost be done. It'll probably play back automatically. So I'll just let it restart on its own. And here's what it looks normally. It's pretty cool. You can do whatever you want, though. It's pretty cool. You know, I'm not gonna render it or anything because, you know, you can do that yourself. Now, if you have a really strong computer, you can turn the cloth collision here to self collisions, and that'll make it collide with itself when you when it touches itself. And there's a bunch of different things you can do, like you can turn wind to different things. But I'm not sure if it'll work as good or if you'll get as good of a thing. No, wind is actually the best one, so I would stick with wind for cloth. And that's the basics of using you know wind with cloth and it can look pretty cool in certain scenes and um, that's the basics so be sure to check out more tutorials and subscribe if you like my stuff so thanks for watching these tutorials